<clears throat> Let me see if we can do this. So, hi everybody. This is Jamie with GettingCrafty.net. So we're trying to beat the algorithm. Do you guys know what an algorithm is? Algorithm is a pain in my tushy. <laughs> Um, okay, I literally <clears throat> have two, yes, two, uh, lives going at once right now. We'll see. Um, so we're going to be trying something new here and see if I can manage it. If you guys are joining us live, go ahead and comment. Hi, Linda. Um, let me see if I can, uh, get it. It's fine. Hello, Melody. Um, I see where you guys are joining. And now I have literally, hi, Lisa. I have two devices happening. That's enough to make me lose my mind. Um, <clears throat> sorry, guys. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So Melody and I were just talking online about how, hi, Bonnie Boo, uh, how amazing the weather is here in the Midwest. I really do love it. I'm trying to find a comfortable position to stand to get to two cameras. Used to be that you guys, I was able to do one program across two different um, platforms, but apparently Facebook doesn't like that. <laughs> of course not. Why would they like that? It's easy for me after trying to finally figure it out. So right now I have, you guys, my own lap iPhone and then my daughter's iPhone streaming at the same time because I don't have time to do two lives a week. Aloha, A I V. Nice to see you from Hawaii. Nice to see you guys. So it's going to be more challenging watching two screens, um, and I hope that's okay. So I have a fun fold for you guys today. We love our fun fold Monday or Tuesdays. Um, hi, Beth. Nice to see you guys. And if you haven't already, please like and share this video. Just sharing is caring. That's all you got to do. We are screwing with the algorithms for these social media websites right now. And I need your help to do so because this is going to be an, an, an experiment. And you guys didn't know you were going to be involved in an experiment today. It's, you, you didn't know. Me neither. Um, okay, so what I love about a fun fold, hi Lauren, is when things fit into a handmade card. So you guys will see here. Thank you. I do love my big old earrings as well. We're going kind of vintage. This is a really fun, um, really long um, hoodie, right? I look. I feel like Red Robin, Red Riding Hood, right? When I do this. Ooh, I even look a little bit like a, a fun Red Riding Hood. <laughs> um, okay. Hi, Dina. And so um, I have really cute jeans on. It's not long enough for a dress, even though when I bought it, it was marked as a dress. And definitely not for the chilly weddings of the Midwest. It's just not. And we do have a, snor a storm rolling in here in California, so or in Indiana. So I was literally taking photos of it this morning. Pretty amazing. When you can see a storm front rolling in, and it's like solid, and it's pretty magnificent looking. It's pretty awesome. So if you guys are seeing me, I am literally trying to look at two different screens at one time. Woohoo! <laughs> so I have my daughter's phone and my phone going. We're going to see how this goes. So we have the Taco Fiesta collection today in a fun fold card. So here is, today is actually two of my very good friends' birthdays. It's Christine and Shannon's birthday. So happy birthday, girls. I love you. And um, this here, actually, Christine and I, and even Shannon and I, are known for our love of Mexican food. Um, they're both back in California, so it's just becoming evening there for them. So this is a really fun card. That's a Z-fold um, slit card. No extra cardstock needed to create it. That makes me really happy where it's just one piece of cardstock to create this. And then we're going to add on. So we do have floating nacho chips. We have avocados and limes going down with a sweet little sparkly stone. And we are ready to create this. Let's go ahead. And by the time you guys get off, <coughs> you should be able to see the full tutorial on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. It's ready to go. It really is. So um, what we're going to do, it's going to take me a second to turn both um, electronic devices over. And we're going to create this right now. If you have not seen the Taco Fiesta collection, it is this awesome stamp set right here. And I love it so much. Not only do I love tacos, honestly. Um, I was really tempted to try a taco delivery today. 
because I couldn't leave where I'm at. I'm a homeschooling mom and this was our community day, so I couldn't leave it, but I did debate it because I love me some tacos. Um, but we do have our taco fiesta and bingo event coming up on Saturday the 25th. This is available in person as well as online. So um, there will be two different times. In person will be um, in the morning of the 25th here in Indiana. We are just outside of um, between Marion and Fort Wayne, Indiana. So that kind of helps you guys. Um, and we are in a little town called um, Markle. I love the name of that, actually. Um, and so we are going to be creating in person for this event. And then um, you can't join on live on video, but thank you guys. Um, I I'm sure it's probably your finger hitting a button, right? Um, and then we have available online. This will include a $20 goodie bag and bingo cards and a full card making kit. You can add on the Taco Fiesta stamp set if you have not had it already. So pretty easy. Um, there is no sharing anymore on this app. So <clears throat> we are going to turn around and create this fun fold card. It's so easy. The measurements are going to be on my blog, but there is a couple twists and, and turns in order to make it happen. So let's go ahead and turn. Ooh. Okay, so we're turning Facebook right now. There, that's gonna have to be what it is. Thanks, Lynn. It is a lot of fun. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, let's try this one now. Hello, Melly. Okay, can you guys see this? Okay, let's see if I can scooch down a smidge on that one. Give me a shout out. Let me know, is this coming across okay? Um, I think I'm able to bend this one up a little bit. I should have laid it out beforehand, but who has time? <laughs> Y'all, not the sister, not the sister. Okay, so you can see here, this is my messy table. I'm so sorry. I think if I lower it, you'll end up getting that device. We'll end up blocking the other device. So that's what we're looking at right here. Woohoo! Okay, um, so here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, 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 looks good. Thanks, guys. Okay, I need your help. Make sure you guys are commenting and walking me through this because it's literally two devices. I feel like a fly with like multiple eyeballs. <laughs> okay, so the Taco Fiesta will be a class that we're doing with bingo prizes, a goodie bag, and more. Um, it's a $20 plus dollar goodie bag with the full class and the bingo cards with prizes to be had. Um, so that's really fun. And we're going to create right now with it. Um, I love a little Z fold. There's something magical about a card that's interactive. Um, it might be because I'm a little bit ADHD. It might be because I like to play with stuff. <laughs> so there you guys go. We're going to be using this designer series paper um, from the Regency Park collection, which I think is a very elegant floral retro but classic collection. Um, but on the back, you get some really great contemporary classic images that you can use, right? And one thing I love about the Hispanic culture, oh, that one's pretty, it's like a woven basket, is they're full of color. There's a, there's a vibrancy to the Hispanic culture that is really fun. Here's my little trick. You're going to need window sheets. I use a sticky note and I put it on there because the moment you put it down, it's gone. I mean, you guys can see it because of the reflection of the lights, but it's gonna be gone. So I'm putting these, and if I forget you guys, it's above me. So just tell me it's above me. It's up, that's where it is, right there. But I don't wanna lose it. So I've got all this ready to go and all the measurements will be on my blog. I did find I wanted to use one stamp set, one ink pad. I wanted this to be pretty much simple stamping with a fun fold. It folds flat um, like this. You can actually write inside of the card here, or you can write on the back of the card when you're sending a card like this. Oh, crackers. Hold on. The paper just ended up in my, my trash bin. Olé. <laughs> Um, okay, and I should have picked up, and I didn't even look for it. One of my favorite candies is the um, peach tahine candies or watermelon tahine candies. I'm just saying. If you've never had, had it, my mouth is literally watering right now. <laughs> um, we will be creating some really fun things. If you've never had tahine, here is a baby-sized tahine, and I love it, and I apply it to my um, fruit. So um, it goes on my watermelon, it goes on my cantaloupe, 
it's delicious. And it's part of like how I grew up. I grew up um, as in a predominantly Hispanic community. So in California. So that's, you know, what we have. Now we have all of the stamps out. Let's just see if I can get them ready right here. This Fiesta stamp set is so easy to use and so much fun. And when you want to go, you don't have to go crazy to have fun with a project like this. Now, I already have the measurements done for us. I wanted you to see what I did. So right here, you can see the two score lines. And here, again, measurements are on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. Really easy for you guys to see after. Is it hot? No. Well, okay. So Melody, I can eat hot food like nobody's business. This was hot for some of my mid Midwest friends. <laughs> this has a little bit of chili in it, a little bit of dried chili. I'm going to cough. Hold on. <coughs> I apparently forgot how to breathe, but it has lime in it. So it's a lime flavored salt with chili. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Just thinking about it. I have literally put it on my hand and eaten it straighten up because that's how I roll. It's amazing on cucumbers. Um, cucumbers, tomatoes, and onions. Toss that with a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil. Oh my gosh. Sprinkle some tahini on it. That is summer fiesta in your mouth. You are welcome. I also, if you have a margarita, I will take a lime and ri rub the edge of the margarita with a lime, and then I will dip it into tahini and drink it with a margarita inside. Amazing. You are welcome. Um, okay. So here I've cut the card. So I went up and then I went up here two and a half and I turned it over and we're going to cut it. So do you want to see me do that part? Um, we're going to do that really quickly for you guys. This is where a paper trimmer is essential to this kind of project because you can use it a variety of ways. So I've already got this. Oh, I've got to pull my nose. I'm so sorry. I think it's because I was coughing. There you go. Okay. Hi, Sheila. Okay. So we have this scored at two and an eighth and four and a quarter and then cut at five and a half. I folded it just like so. And I did use an impression, a bowl bone folder. <coughs> Apparently I'm going to forget how to breathe. Now I closed it. Let me see if I can show this to you guys. I closed it so that it's here and I know exactly where to place it. This is going to be your trickiest part of this. Use the bottom track of this project. Come down and we're going to use this track going up. We're going to take this. This will be two and a half. So it's half, one, and two. So I'm going to take the scoreboard and go up to this. And if I can't get past the right there, sometimes I just have to know where it goes. And then the line on the outside is what's going to show me where to end. So I'm going to go up and that line lines up with the 10 that you see right there. And that is, hi, Sue, how you do? So then we have this here and I'm going to close this right here. Do you see the score line that I placed? Can you guys see that? I don't know if it shows very well. I'm hoping it does. Um, and then we're going to cut in. So our big goal, now you have to know, you're dealing with somebody who's dyslexic and who's unapologetically dyslexic, dyslexic. So sometimes I do things backwards, if that makes sense. So we're gonna go up with a blade that cuts until our line hits the score line right there. So what you should have is this piece that interacts just like so, right? We're gonna close that. We're gonna push this piece forward and voila, voila, y'all. <laughs> I give you some French and some country for you. Now, use your bone folder to make a firm impression. So what you're wanting to do, you guys, is this is interactive. It's going to need a little bit of coercion to do what you want. Imagine it's like you talking to the men in your life. <laughs> some of you, your men are easier than some of the others. I'm just saying. How pretty is this? <clears throat> Apparently, breathing is optional for tonight. Okay. Um, and then I had a scrap piece of punched heart. I'm looking for it really quickly. Um, I was using it. 
I went downstairs. I blogged this for everybody. Oh, here it is. Okay. We are going to make some guacamole. So I just took a heart. If you guys remember, this was a 3D project that I did recently. And we're going to take the shaded spruce here and very lightly tap the blending brush into it. Just light. And we're just going to kind of smoosh right here. Just a little smoosh. One thing I love about guacamole is you add some chiles, you add some lime, you add some salt. Mmm. Something I have recently discovered to my dismay, I grew up eating avocados. My grandpa had a avocado tree on his property that was so tall, the kids would scurry up the top of it. And um, apparently coughing still makes my nose run a little bit. Hold on. <sighs> Sorry, that was kind of rude. Okay, there we go. Um, and so my my cousins and I used to go up this um, tree and pull the avocados down for my grandpa. And then I could eat with my Aunt Dee. She and I could eat a whole avocado each with a little bit of lime and a little bit of salt. And we were good for the whole day. That was our meal. She and I would do it. Not everybody could live that life, but she and I could. She passed away this recently. And gosh, I love her. I miss her. Thank God we get to see him in heaven, right? Okay, so we're going to create this bottom piece right here. I like to keep everything separate. So if I screw this up, I can always just replace this. Do you love this, Sue? I do too. So we're going to go ahead and holy guacamole, it's your birthday. And we're going to try to center that a little bit. Now, using a grid paper will actually help you stamp straighter. Also, this pattern is very well laid out. So what that means is when you go to stamp, you can stamp straighter. Holy guacamole. And then I have my um, chamois, simply chamois here, and I'm going to clean it off. This is a photopolymer stamp set. So photopolymer is not red rubber. It's not a cling. So you need to clean it in between. That sounds like a poem. Who knew it? Okay, so then we're gonna just add the little guacamole along the side in the little bowl. And clean it again. Hablas español también. I speak Spanish enough to get myself into a lot of trouble. And it's funny because I have a really good accent. And recently when we were in California, my family was there that are Hispanic, but do not speak Spanish. And so the um, carrecería that we went to for our tacos, actually it's a Mexican full restaurant in Ventura, California, named Johnny's, best Mexican restaurant in the world. If you go there, please get the Yucateco. Now that is spicy. Well, it's spicy for most people, not for me. So yeah. You know. Does that help you, Melody? Does it answer if it's spicy or not? Because I can't tell you. Here, we're just going to kind of clear this off. This is going to get hidden. When you're using your Wink of Stella, you can paint with um, glitter really easily. And then we're going to kind of wiggle this in. We're going to take the adhesive, my stamp and Seal Plus, which is here right in front of me. It would bite me. And we're just going to do here. One trick with using stamp and seal or stamp and seal plush is don't press too hard. That's all. We're going to place this across the front like a so. Okay. We're going to set that aside. Then you can see we're going to take our avocados and lime and we're going to decorate the side of this. So what we're going to do is just take an avocado and kind of alternate how this lays and we'll end up filling in the limes limes oh as I was telling you did you know I recently found out with my autoimmune that avocados create a histamine reaction in some people like myself which means I'm allergic not so much allergic allergic but like sensitive to it which is a bummer because I love me some avocados and if you're willing to eat it you just have to suffer the penalty of of the reaction, which is usually congestion and um, inflammation for me. And so we're trying to go back on to the clean method of eating that I was on. Gotta love it. 
what's crazy is if I can go on that in the next few days, I'm still drinking coffee. You guys, if I can get rid of the coffee, I'll be even better. Um, but my friend and I were talking about we really should wean from that. I've done it cold turkey. When I went to California, I got back on to coffee and it's an addictive thing. It really is. It's kind of crazy. We're going to just tuck these limes in because avocados are only better when you add lime and salt. Salt and lime. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there you go. Yeah, just kind of fun. Whimsical, right? Hi, Lisa Marie. Como estas, mi amiga? Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm just cleaning these in between. So a couple of reasons. You know me. I'm going to put my hand into something. It's going to be messy. So we're going to take this greeting with the nacho. Your nacho average friend. It's true, y'all. You are a, a whole guacamole and no average nacho for you. No, that is not. Okay. We're going to take this tab right here. And we're going to go all the way across. We're reinforcing the aspect of where it sticks out. And I'm going to show that to you right here. Right here. Ole! Fiesta! <clears throat> so some people, if you know that you cannot ha handle spice, that's not for you. <laughs> But if you can handle just a little bit, it's worth having in your life. And get a little bottle. You can get it anywhere these days and um, eat it up because it's delicious. Okay, so I've already cut this. This is our window sheets here. And I want the um, nachos to be floating right here. This symbolizes my nacho bowl and my avocado and limes, limone. And what we're going to do is take our... Stampin' Seal Plus. And this is designed, Stampin' Seal Plus is designed for 3D boxes. So that's kind of something important to know. And we're going to come up here and put it behind. Now, I have an invisible panel to add my tortilla chips. Aren't you excited? <laughs> Sorry. Apparently the coughing session has resulted in... <laughs> A wet nose. I hate that. Okay, so we're going to take this here. Now, this is the Regency um, Park Designer Series paper. Super easy to use. We're going to take and make a little fiesta. I'm trying to decide which way I want it. It's fine. Here, one. Ooh. And because it's photopolymer, I can go right over and you can't even see like my screw up. Maybe a little bit, but it's a taco tortilla. You're fine. And we're just going to go back and forth. Don't dig it in. Can you see that green in the center? Oh, I hate that. So you can clean it in between if you wanted to. But that would mean stopping. The best adhesive to use from this point on for the window sheets um, and this size of um, project is a glue dot. So I would use our mini glue dots for this project um, to adhere the um, nachos, tortilla chips. Mm. Now, tortilla chips scratch from scratch. I like to make them from scratch. Um, if you can do that, is amazing with tahine as well. And there's a lot of healthy options to making um, tacos, uh, tortilla chips that you don't have to fry them. You can, um, just a little bit of oil sprayed on them. I like to make my own spray, um, and then put in an oven. We'll crisp them right up right there. And honestly, you guys, I think I did two rows to create this or one and a half to create this many, um, tortilla chips on here. Then we're going to take those iridescent rhinestone jewels and we're going to take and make it into the avocado bellies with our take your pick tool the larger of the gems here fits perfectly right in the middle now you can get whimsical this comes with little faces that you can add is everybody still able to see everything 
everything going okay. I worry, like now I'm running two devices. Spring here. Yes, Melody, nobody talks about that. Allergies are a serious, legit thing, um, especially here in the Midwest too. And so people are all, yay, I want the good weather, but they don't talk about two things. Do you know what those two things are? Allergies and bugs. I have to say, I love me some spring and I will deal with it, but I don't like bugs. If you knew how I grew up, I grew up um, in the ghetto and I grew up dealing with fighting bugs all the time. So I don't like bugs with a passion. Yes, so much pollen, everything's green. Do you know why? You guys want some homeschool education here? I'll educate you. And now that this is closed, this will fit into your standard envelope, but we're gonna add those tortilla chips. I'm gonna set my rhinestones aside. And we're just gonna fussy cut those out. I'm not gonna do all of them because you guys will get the gist when you look at the sample, right? But I'm just gonna go in and I do fussy cut right outside of the green. Don't fussy cut right on top. So do you want to write, no, write, you're right, exactly, Melody. It's the bugs and the um, allergies. Oh, I hate them, but it's fine. Uh, I don't take allergy medication because I have a, an opposite reaction to it. Anyway, do you know why there's so many allergies in like towns? This might freak you out, but this, this is so true. Um, the trees are male pollinating trees. And they sell male pollinating trees 90% of the time. Because they're selling male pollinating trees, they are shooting pollen out, hoping to catch a female. But to, in, to uh, prevent an overpopulation of trees, they don't sell very often female trees that catch pollinators, that, that have pollinators. Nope, catch it, whatever. And so when you are the reason there's so many trees out here in the Midwest and in the South, like you are, um, you have been surrounded by trees that are spewing pollen on the regular. And now we've actually been able to pull my car inside of the garage. I have to say, I've not even been able to do that in California, but <clears throat> we, um, our car used to get covered in pollen, like with different waves of pollen. So I'll end up going through. Now, this is a busy work. This is one thing because I love this. I will probably do a few of these, especially having two friends with birthdays today. And I'm late sending their cards, which is really sucks because I made uh, made them cards already. If you guys saw my spring cards um, that we did, they were really pretty. There was a video tutorial on that. You'll know. Anyway. <clears throat> So what we'll do is we'll take my glue dots and I will cut all these out and I'll make a little pile of them. And then I'm going to take my glue dots and I'm going to leave them on the paper and I'm going to grab a little tortilla chip and I'm just going to place them. Where's my take your pick? This is where my acrylics will bug me, but my take your pick saves the day. And then I'm going to place it on the glue dot so it's ready for me to use after I'm all done. So I'll just put these on and then I just make busy work out of it, like making some cards, right? Here. And I'll end up doing quite a few of these very easily. And because it's going on a window sheet, window sheets um, are slick and they don't really hold on to adhesive as much as you would like. Um, so what you'll do is you'll take that and it's got the glue dot on the back and you're gonna tuck the tortillas inside and you can just kind of, because one glue dot's holding it down, I think my biggest concern is that there's a glue dot not grabbing the back of the card. So we're just gonna kind of stack them. <clears throat> and it's going a little bit into the bowl, into the guacamole. So, and you just keep building all the way across. And because I love you guys, I'm not going to hold you hostage with my fussy cutting because you can see the end results, right? You can see where we end up with this. And then you just keep going all the way across here and you just keep building and the window sheet is slightly higher so it will carry it through like a floating 
chip bowl. Isn't that so? Yes. So it is weird about the pollinating trees. Um, but that is why allergies are so severe in areas that actually have trees. Which, in California, we didn't have as many trees because it's always a drought. Hi. Let's see if we can do this. Ah! There's one. Now let's turn this one. There's two, maybe. There we go. Ah, okay, we're gonna raise this one. See, you guys, this is the thing we're dealing with. Okay, ah, okay, we've got two. <laughs> so there was your homeschool lesson for the day and a fun Ole Fiesta card. Um, if you would like to create with us, we have just a few more days for the Getting Crafty Club where you will receive a card kit and a goodie bag. Um, dry, poor reception tonight. Oh, yeah. Ugh, the weather. And the moon is supposed to be phenomenal. So I'm going to go outside this evening and I'll catch the moon before I go to bed. Um, <clears throat> there's my taco um, nacho bowl with avocado guacamole for somebody's birthday and I hope that you guys appreciate it as is super cute Lisa says thank you super cute 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 I know it's fun huh it's very easy um we do have the bingo event happening on the 25th of March um that will be online and in person for that event um and it will include a full card kit it will not include the stamp set you can add that stamp set on but it does include the bingo cards the projects and some presents and a goodie bag. So that will come to you and it includes mail. So um, if you're interested, there is two events this month. We have our Getting Crafty Club and we have the bingo and cards this month. And I would love for you to join us. Thanks, Rhonda. I'm glad you were able to pop on, sister. I know you were having a busy day. And then here you can see where the guacamole, it just kind of adds um, some fun. Now, if you were gonna write on this card, if you wanna write less, write here. If you wanna write more, right, right there. So easy. If you haven't already, <clears throat> like and share this video, please. The full tutorial is already available for you right now at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. My goodness, I was looking for my business card. I should be able to show you guys and you should be able to see it right away, but that would mean that I'm organized. There we go. Um, and it might be backwards for those on Facebook. That's what I remember, um, which my, my project. So we do have glittery guacamole down there. We have floating taco chips. And you wouldn't have guessed this is a floral Regency Park designer series paper. So we're going to be trying this out for two weeks, you guys. Let's see what the algorithms do for our Facebook uh, Live versus uh, using the app. Maybe we get more with the app. I'm not really sure. Um, we have a nice following on social media. Getting people to pop on is the challenge. So um, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to let you go because I do two lives every Monday or every Tuesday. And I'm going to our second live for our Getting Crafty family. If you're interested in finding out more about the Getting Crafty family, we would love to have you join us. Um, the starter kit is amazing, but so is the Getting Crafty family and the discount. So um, I was very excited to welcome some people at the end of the month join us. And it was super fun. I'm really happy. So I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great evening. God bless less. Mwah. If you haven't, like and share and then check it out and comment. What do you think? Do you want to receive one of these cards? Maybe you will end up, hi Terry Bear, uh, maybe you will end up joining us um, for our bingo and taco fiesta night on the 25th um, online in the evening or in person during the day. And then we have our Getting Crafty Club. That for March ends March 10th. You have until March 10th to subscribe to the event and it's only $38.50. You get a lush goodie bag, um, all the projects sent to you, and the projects are amazing. Tons of fun folds and oh, great techniques. So if you're curious, you can see all of this on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. I don't usually watch, come right up. Oh, it doesn't usually come up on Facebook. You have to watch on YouTube, but I get it and get it tonight. So yeah, I'm it's going to be balanced sister. Um, and I'm on both right now. So you can see this replay on either Facebook or YouTube. Um, it's very interesting. Hmm. We will see what we can do. And I might go back just to the app so that it's easier because two devices, not as easy. <laughs> I will see you guys later. Mwah. God bless. Good night.